Hey guys, what's up? Jesse here from the Suvi Sanctuary. Today we are going to be getting into my personal Hawkeye here. I built this for my little son. We're gonna be doing some revisions to try and clean some things up. So working around the car here, our bumper was painted very poorly. I had left it because it was the color blue, but I would like to make it a little nicer. If I had to rate the finish on this bumper, I would uh, rate it 10 out of 10 solvent pop, because that's all it is, it's just pure solvent pop. At the same time the bumper was done, the roof was done as well. I'm not sure how well this shows up on camera, but it is super rough. Again, like all these specs, I don't know how well you guys can see them. This is all solvent pop, the entire roof, the whole thing is solvent pop. It is absolutely atrocious for someone who is into nice paint. So we're gonna go ahead, strip the roof and paint the roof as well. Moving along here, while we have the front bumper off, I have the Japanese fine mesh grills. These are pretty hard to find, these are OEM. So I'm gonna take these trims off, paint them, use my other trim around the main one. We're gonna put those guys in as well to kind of uh, clean up the front a bit, add some flare. And then these headlights, I actually put them in the car since we got the car. I have now grown tired of them. I don't like them anymore. So I actually have some OEM headlights. We're gonna end up putting the OEM headlights in as well during our little uh, refresh here. All right, and the last piece of our puzzle here, this is a water meth fail safe. So what this does is jump between the boost control solenoid, that little lead goes to the fault on the meth system. And when the car detects a fault with the meth system, it kills boost to save your engine. So I'm gonna put that in too as well before we end up getting into that scenario. Oh, first thing we're gonna do is get this front bumper off, get the lip off, and and start to begin prepping it and then move our way up to the roof there. One more thing I actually want to change on the car is my catback exhaust. It was fine at first. It does look good. It sounds pretty cool. Originally it had a baffle in the muffler. It has blown out the baffle. This was actually like an old exhaust. It came on the car but I liked it and now it has become too loud. So I'm gonna swap this out with a Fujitsubu catback exhaust. I'm probably gonna have to do some welding. This is a JDM downpipe because I have the twin scroll stuff on here. So we'll see if it ends up reaching there or if I have to uh, slightly modify it. All right, so here we have our dudes lined up. You can tell this guy's gonna be super quiet. Resignator, other resignator, big, quiet, like muffler. Very large uh, tip though. That may gather some attention, but it is gonna be quiet. The original flange, which I already cut off, had the reduction to work with the factory downpipe. So I have this little guy here. I'm gonna put it up on the car, make a cut, and then I have another flange, I'm gonna have to weld it on and that should cover the exhaust.
Under the hood here, going to now connect our uh, meth fault relay here. So this green dude is running from the AEM controller inside the car. This is the boost cut wire when the system has a fault. All we have to do is connect it to this guy on our relay. And then between the relay, there's a jumper that goes in between the boost controller. So what we're gonna do is just connect those all up, tidy it all up, and then we are actually done with doing that. So that was very simple. Not really a mod, but a good peace of mind uh, component to have in your car if you are running a water meth system. Here we are now all hooked up. So pretty much the only thing you see different visually is that I have tied my little uh, boost cut wire to my O2 sensor wire there as far as attachment and otherwise in there it all pretty much looks the same. The whole module is just underneath of that cover there. Got the headlights all sanded here. What I'm actually gonna do is kind of double mask them. I'm gonna leave this top black part exposed because on the Hawkeyes with the hood open, you can see this whole part. And I'm gonna actually go paint this black and then unmask the lens and then clear coat the whole thing. Hopefully it looks uh, revised, fresh, ready to go. There they are after the black paint along the top. The clear coat over the lens. Uh, really happy with how these turned out. It looks super fresh. Really excited to see these on the car.
right guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Overall, I am super happy with the little changes in the car. We got the Fujitsubu exhaust on there. Really enjoy the sound of that. It is rather quiet and that was what I was looking for. Visually, I really enjoy the look of the exhaust as well. Got the roof all tuned up, looking good. Bumper tuned up, looking good. Our cool JDM grills in and our homemade JDM headlights in. Alrighty guys, till the next one, happy Subaru-in.